This video will guide you through the installation and setup of Django's development environment on Windows. I have prepared a checklist of sorts which I will be following. And first of all, we need to visit python.org, the official Python website. Go to the download section. Go to the full list of downloads. Then we go down and we select the latest version of Python that is available, Python 3.9.5. And then we scroll down and download the Windows installation 64-bit if you have a 64-bit computer, which most of you probably have. So once this Python is downloaded, we will install it. But uh, along with that, we will also visit this another website, which is a code editor. And I prefer this code editor. You can use other code editors if you want. But I will go ahead and download this one because it is easy to set up with Django. Now we will go ahead and install Python first. Uh, it is important that you add your Python to path. You go to customize installation and you make sure that you are installing for all users. Uh, this puts it in a shorter path in your installation directory. Further, you check here, install for all users. You don't need this pre-compiled standard library. And then you simply go ahead and install. We should also disable this path length limit as it might come in handy later. With Python installed, we can now go ahead and do our second task, which is installing VS Code. So now we will install that. Uh, you accept the agreement. You go ahead and install it in its default location. You can also enable these two options so that when you right click a file in Explorer, you will get an option to open that file with VS Code. Now that we have both VS Code and Python installed in our system, we will not open VS Code first, but we will go ahead and open a command prompt with administrative rights. And here we will check for a software called pip. This should be installed with your Python. So I will simply run a pip command and yes, it runs successfully without any errors. So that means pip is installed. And now we will go ahead and install virtual env it is a package that allows you to create virtual environments inside windows so go ahead and type this command in fact pip is a python package manager which allows you to install various packages for python development Now that we have virtual env installed, we will go ahead and open Visual Studio Code. So this is the editor that we are going to use for this series. And one thing that we should do before we start working on any code is that we should go ahead and install this Python extension. You can either install it from here 
or you can go to this extensions icon and search for python there it is in my recommended installing this extension will uh, allow a lot of features like auto suggest uh, to be available for python and it really makes everything easy to work with now that we have python extension installed as well uh, we are nearly at the end of our setup where we have performed these four steps now on to testing our installation so to test our installation we will go ahead and create a django project but before that we will create a virtual environment so we will go ahead and open some folder i will just create a new folder on the desktop there you go and i will name this folder my project i'll open it and i will open command prompt here in this folder now i will go ahead and set up a virtual environment in this folder and how do we do that we use the virtual env command and the name of our virtual environment so what does a virtual environment do a virtual environment installs your python packages in a local folder instead of installing it everywhere so let me name my virtual env venv and while this virtual env is created and now that we have added a virtual environment we can enable this environment using a script that comes with it so it goes something like this dot slash venv slash scripts slash activate and now as you can see the prompt is preceded by the name of the environment in brackets which means that we have successfully entered inside our environment now we can go ahead and install django here by using pip install django remember that pip is the python package installer and you will be installing a lot of things add-ons to django also from here all right so now we have installed django and we will create a new django project using the command django admin start project and then the name of the project which i will name my site this will create if you look at the structure of the folder this will create another folder called my site this is our project folder but we will go ahead and open our vs code right here so to do that we will do code and then dot this will open uh, this will open our project inside vs code and you can press control and tilde tilde is the key that is to the left of one or below escape key to open the terminal here as well uh, it is currently set up as powershell but i want to use the command prompt since powershell is the default shell enabled in vs code i will go ahead and press ctrl shift p to open command palette and then i will select default profile to change it to command prompt the one that we are using and now if i close this and reopen it using control and tilde key i will get my venv enabled here now if i open a python file for example i'll go into the my site folder and open settings.py these are all the settings of your project it will activate extensions in the visual studio code which will allow us to have contextual auto suggest and autocomplete now that we have set up python and 
Visual Studio Code and Django. We will go ahead and test this server by running it locally, which you can uh, open your project folder in the terminal, which is cd my site. And if you list the structure, you will see that there is a manage.py file. This file manages your whole project. You can run various commands like running your website on a local server or synchronizing with the database. So what I will do is go ahead and run this file python manage.py run server. Now there you go the server is now running starting development server at this address. Now what I will do is I will control click this link and this page should show up. This is running on your local machine as you can see from this address. If this page shows up that means that your Django installation is working properly. If it did not then go through the video again make sure that you follow each and every step if it still does not work you can search installation for your specific computer and operating system online and this is all it takes to install and set up python and django on windows with all these steps out of the way we are ready to delve into python and django here are some links that will help you in your setup thank you